Hey there, welcome to Slovenia. My name is Luka Esenko. I'm a landscape and nature photographer. And right now I'm hiking to Matko Škaf. This is a special place here in Kamnik Slovenia Alps. And I have a special photography project I want to do. So I invited my dear friend Dan Briski to join me on this trip. We came here from the Austrian side. It's about an hour, 45 minutes drive from Ljubljana. And now we are at Matko Kot. Uh, this valley, one of the nicest valleys of this part of the Alps, is called after or named after Matak family. And this is a farmhouse with centuries old tradition here. It's still an active farmhouse. Really lovely people there, nice food and uh, uh, head of the family uh, he plays sitter really nicely so if you ever visit this area make sure you go to their place uh, you can have some nice lunch there or you can stay overnight they also offer rooms uh, but dan and i we are now going to the end of this valley to the head of the valley where the scaf is located so Matko Škaf, it's like a literal translation would be Matek's uh, bucket. The trail is really nice, beautiful nature all around. It's just after the rain, so everything's wet, it's dripping onto us from the trees. It's very lush. I think it's prime spring right now in this valley, the north side of Kamnik Slovenia Alps. Yeah, we are maybe one third into the valley and Matkoš Kaf is already nicely visible from the distance. It really is a huge pile of snow. It really created a bucket. So how this happens? Uh, there's like all winter and spring when snow is melting, it's falling down on the same place from the walls of the mountain and then it creates a huge pile. And then in spring with all this warm temperature a waterfall happens and it carves a hole into this pile of snow and this we call uh, Matkoš Kaf. So I want to create a couple of images. One set would be like a regular documentary set of images just to show the place its setting and everything. And then I want to create something more creative and that's why I invited Dan and he's super happy to help to step in and he is uh, an excellent climber, mountain climber, uh, ice climber so hint hint we're gonna do something with his skills here but let me catch my breath and catch up with Dan and his dog Fina The alpine salamander. I'm not sure if this is the proper English word, but we call him Planinski Mocerad in Slovenian. There he goes. So now we have our final ascent, so we have to go on snow it's actually still soft enough so we don't need crampons uh, and as you can see some people were sliding down already <laughs> some visitors had a lot of fun i think we're gonna do the same today and this is the matko kot valley
We arrived at Matkoshkaf and before we get to the actual bucket we need to put on helmets and we also uh, put Tina and Dan's dog into a safe area because there is a danger of some rockfall here and we don't want to risk her uh, being exposed and after we do that we're gonna go and see the actual bucket I can already hear this water dripping down the rocks the wall and I'm really looking forward to look into the bucket. So let's do it. Yep, this is Matkosh Kaf now. And this is gonna be the moment when I look into it for the first time. Oh wow. <laughs> this is awesome. This is really, really spectacular. Oh wow. Now you can actually see water dripping into the bucket. It's fantastic. So Dan is climbing in Matkosh Kaf and we set a LED light down below so we have a really interesting light and we were experimenting with different colors but this one red seems to work really nicely. So this is now a different composition and Dan is moving more to the left so we have a better placement of the person here in the shot but look at this red, it really works cool looks like gate to hell or something like that Some meter, 10 meters 